it's time to gather in and go to church. I hope you've had a good day. Now if I could just get these windy ones quiet for a second, we'll go to church. Let's go to church. I couldn't get them quiet down there. What are you saying? Brother Roger's fault. He didn't even hear this. Hey, Roger, get them. No, Brother Roger's fault. Y'all shouldn't have been this much talking. Whoa, whoa. Man alive. Look at these pretty faces up here. Y'all got enough room out there? Huh? Hey, John. Hey, John. Yeah, I Are y'all settled back? Yeah. I'm back here. Let me shoot. Well, no, no, no. No, I'm just getting keyed up. <laughs> well, the elbows are kind of like shoulder to shoulder. Turn page 15. Right there.
Page 26. I don't have pretty writing like Steve does. <laughs>
looks on the card. <laughs> time of prayer. <laughs> Amen. I can't think of a better place to be tonight than to be in God's house with God's people and to feel the blessings. Amen. Falling and afresh and anew upon us. All right, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. I, I know we have much to pray about. Keep uh, my sister-in-law, Debbie Manis, in your prayers. Uh, she's in King's Daughters, and, and she's uh, in need of our prayer. And then Fred Crossan, he's in Capitol Huntington. We, we want to remember him tonight. Uh, do you have requests before we pray? Lord, you don't forget my second client passed away once in the morning. Her two girls are really taking it rough. They didn't even know the mother was going to donate her body. But and they were just so dumbfounded. She said, because I called and asked, I said, are we going to have a service? And she said, no. She said, Mom gave a party to Marshall. So Karen's having a hard time sick. So help the girls get through this. Amen. She's for saving everybody. So that's the best part. She's in heaven now. Amen. Anyone else? Roger, uh, uh, my daughter, uh, it's been since an actor, went from Cleveland. Amen. Remember this. Uh, unspoken. Remember this tonight. Uh, keep Robin in your prayers. Uh, uh, she, she's going to have to go to Lexington. And the, I think the problem is now is they're making the... Uh, uh, the uh, appointment so she can go and then Virginia Leffingwell we want to remember Virginia not only the Lord would touch her but they'd be able to find out what the problem is and get it fixed right quick anyone else tonight yes Phil Phil Dingus let's, let's remember Phil tonight Wednesday Sarah Mays Jimmy, keep Jimmy in your prayers. We have a lot to pray about. Anyone else tonight? I'm sure all of us have somebody tonight. Why don't we go to the Lord in prayer? You lead out tonight as the Lord would lead you. you can take our time. We don't have to be quick to get up. We can pray, pray, pray. Our Father, that here in the ongoing of the service, Lord, that you touch us individually and 
We've come to worship you. You said they that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. So may the Holy Spirit, Lord God, tug upon our hearts, Heavenly Father, and may we find yourself in that place of blessing. We know, Heavenly Father, tonight that God knows of the needs of the hour. We call Heavenly Father of those that are on the outside of the ark of Satan. Lord, the need to get in before it's eternally too late. We pray that Heavenly Father that you would deal with them and bring them to that place, Heavenly Father, with their heart. Lord God, it is softened and Heavenly Father, they're able to have to receive the engrafted word of God. We pray, Holy Spirit, tonight. Have your precious right away. We've come together tonight to worship. And oh God, we want you to be first and foremost. I call them the sickness, Lord God. Sickness is no big deal with thee and Lord God of the different things, Lord God, that people are going through. And Lord, the, the depressions and Lord God, the need. How we pray that Holy Spirit lift them up. And oh, may they be able, Lord God, to see for themselves. Heavenly Father, if you see them tonight, we know the Heavenly Father many a times, Lord God, that when we get our head down, Heavenly Father, the only way we and look is up. So we lift our eyes up to you tonight. Thank you, Father, and Lord, for all these. <laughs> We're going to wait upon you for the evening offering, especially since uh, John and uh, Charlie are right on top of, of it tonight. John, how about asking the Lord's blessing on, on the offering we're about to receive? Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of being back there. Yeah. Asking you, Lord, to be in the service tonight. Pour out your blessings. Be with each singer, each song, and sing, and each testimony. When it comes to our wonderful brothers, Turn to bring the message along with the Holy Spirit that you've always given. Now we ask the Lord to bless this offering. We're about to take that. So we thank you, Lord, yeah. for this privilege to be back in the Father's house. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Now you give tonight as the Lord's given to you. announcements. Charlotte, we're going to call upon you. you. You tell us who these two young ladies are in front of you here. These two ladies are 
our next door neighbors, the people who lived down we grew up here. They're, they're not strangers to Kellogg, but, and we're gl glad that you're here tonight. I figure that, uh, that Charlotte would forget the names. I, I know that it don't take much for me to forget a name, but I, I don't guess she did tonight. So. Amen. Amen. We're glad you're here. Make yourself at home, and you, you know to do that. <clears throat> Our youth department will have their annual uh, trunk or treat. Uh, it'll be this Wednesday evening. That means that uh, uh, you and I must bring our candy uh, so that we can wait in the, in the trunk of our car and as they come by give, us, give them a little treat. Uh, that's, uh, that's been a, a thing we've done for probably three, four, five years and, and the kids have enjoyed it and, and I think we enjoy giving them candy as well as, as they do. And then uh, our choir practice will be Thursday, October 24th at 6.30 p.m. And Melissa Markham and Michael Chafin, Jr. request your presence, uh, presence your company at their wedding on Saturday, October 26th, 4 p.m. here at Kellogg Church, and a reception will follow. Uh, we'll have a pastor and wife appreciation on Sunday the 27th. A uh, time of fellowship will be held in the fellowship hall uh, following the evening service. Uh, food silent in sheet uh, should be back in the vestibule there. And then the ladies auxiliary bean dinner and, and white elephant sale. That's one of their, uh, their money making uh, uh, times, but it's also a good times. If you like beans and cornbread, uh, and if you don't like beans and cornbread, I know you, everybody likes chili, uh, but they have a good time with that. And then afterwards, uh, we get to, to buy uh, those white elephants, and, and it always comes out real good. They make money, and, and, uh, and we go home happy, I, I'd say, for the most part, unless you don't like pickles. And <laughs> if you don't like pickles, maybe you're in trouble. <laughs> the Ladies Auxiliary uh, will meet Monday, November 4th, 7 p.m. Officers will be elected, uh, and the names, and drank, names drawn for the Christmas gift exchange. Uh, Julie Barr is still accepting recipes for the upcoming Ladies Auxiliary Cookbook. And Dave Calico is uh, seeking pictures uh, from Homecoming 2019 and the Fall Revival, uh, uh, the National Life Chain, uh, to post on the church website. Uh, uh, he is also adding a praise report section uh, for answered prayer. And you can give those to Dave, or uh, he's, he's, uh, his email address is in the bulletin there, and you get them that way if you want to, and he'll get those taken care of. Something come to my mind is... The fall revival back uh, last, uh, <laughs> next year's fall revival, uh, it was about 27 to 3. And I've already contacted Brother uh, Blanton. Uh, he'll, he'll be back with me as, as quick as uh, they get their, their schedule together for next year. Uh, there was something else, but I, if I remember it, I'll tell you about it later. How's that? Ah, oh, we're ready to begin our service. Mike? Okay, who do you want first? Okay? Come girls sing for us. And let's let go and let God have his way tonight. Can we do that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Love you. 
Told Mike, I better sing his song. I'm gonna wear the CD out before I even get to sing it. Oh, you know, I don't know about you all, but when the devil's beating me down and everything's coming against you, people you love come against you. Friends you thought you had come against you. I have a pity party sometimes. And I wonder what God thinks of me when I have those pity parties. Especially when I say, Lord, why are you bringing all this on me? Don't you love me? And that's silly, because I know he loves me. And there's a reason for it. But this song that I sing, you have to think about Jesus saying it to somebody like me who's having a pity party. But the words are great, and you'll love them. So you would know how much I love you. Number one, Mike. How Many times must I prove how much I love you And how many ways must my love for you show And how 
many times must I rescue you from trouble for you to know just how much I, I love you. We forget these things, don't we? Didn't I wake you up this morning? You were clothed in your right mind. And didn't you walk right in your closet each step? Right in time when you were weak on life's journey. Didn't my angels carry you so you would know? So I would know. Amen. So you would know. So you would know just how much I I love you. How many days must I feel a fence all around you? And how many nights must I wipe all your tears away? And how how many storms must I bring you safely through so you will know just how much, just how much he really loves you. Oh yeah. Now didn't I wake you up this morning? You were clothed in your right mind. And didn't you walk right in your closet each step right in time? And when you were weak on life's journey, didn't my angels carry you so you would know? Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to remember. Would know. So you would know how much, how much I, I love you. Oh, didn't I put food on your table when your bills were all past due? When the pain got so bad in your body, didn't I send healing unto you? And when you were lost in sin and sorrow, well, I died just to set you free so you would know. Oh, so we would know. Hallelujah. Praise his name. You would know. Oh, so you would know. So you would know just how much I, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. I can't 
understand There are others more worthy of Jesus than me Yet you loved me as small as I am Sometimes it's so hard to walk in his footsteps but if I stumble I know he'll understand he picks me up Wipes off my sin, puts me on my feet again. Yes, he loves me as small as I am. Nobody special, I'm no ruler or king. This old world doesn't know who I am. But Jesus walks close beside me. He fights my battles and he guides me. Yes, he loves me as small as I am. Sometimes it's so hard to walk in his footsteps, but if I stumble, I know he'll understand. He picks me up, wipes off my sin, puts me on my feet again. Yet he loves me as small as I am. He picks me up, wipes off my sin, puts me on my feet again. As small as I am. Uh, I do remember, excuse me, what the, the last thing that I want to call your attention to. Uh, the ballots are out for you. And, uh, and get them back in as quick as you can uh, uh, so we can get those people <coughs> that you put on your ballot to uh, call. And, uh, make sure that when you fill out one of those ballots that you check just because a person's on that list doesn't mean that they're going to take that uh, position again. So make sure you give them a call and, and make, make sure that makes, that makes my effort a whole lot easier. <laughs> I'm not lazy, to find you. <laughs> Your finger is hurt, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he loves me, as small as I am. <laughs> I've enjoyed every song this evening. It's just been good, really good. I, I really, and Sister Bonnie. And Sister Dolores, that, uh, Sister Bonnie, we worshiped together years together. And uh, Sister Dolores here is the lady that bought Dad's house. And I'm, I'm thrilled. It's, uh, God worked things out. She bought it sight unseen. So uh, <laughs> tell me God wasn't in that. So uh, uh, he, he does a work. But uh, this song, uh, kind of two different uh, parts to it. The first part. When the children of Israel were in captivity, God heard their cry. 
heard him crying, and uh, he worked it out to where he was going to going to get him out of that situation. And the second part is uh, is us. We're, we're God's people. We're His people, and uh, when things seem like they fall apart, stormy times come in. Uh, he's not going to leave us. He's going to be right there with us. We don't know how bad the storms might be, but he's still there with us all the time. It, the other night, it was, I think it was 2 o'clock, and I woke up, and it was like the devil was throwing everything in the world at me. I just, I don't, <laughs> I laid there for a while, quite a while, and I, I, I got up, Pam said, you okay? And I said, well, I just can't sleep. So uh, I got up, I went in, and I got the word, and I went back to bed, and I went sound asleep. <laughs> we can defeat him with that word. Amen. Just put it inside, and he's got to go. <laughs> and uh, he worked things out for us. I know he will. I'm trusting in him. I praise him. I thank him for times like that. It's, if we're on the top all the time, it's in valleys that makes us realize how precious he really is. And he's precious. I, I love him. So we haven't done this for a while, but we'll try. It's number three, brother. <laughs> I chose you before you knew who I was. I heard you crying down in Egypt's land. You are my people. I am your God. A covenant you cannot comprehend. I'm going to take you on a journey, we're going to walk across the sea. Now children, don't you worry, let me set your mind at ease. You do what's possible, you do the praise, I'll do the miracle. I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep the faith Then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the miracle We are His people is our God He saved us from a wicked world of sin So why do we worry when it all falls apart when the stormy times of life come crashing in We have but one purpose and that's to trust with all our heart then to stand back with wonder as we watch the waters fall and he said you do what's possible you do the praise i'll do the miracle I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep the faith Then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the miracle You do what's possible you do the praise I'll do the miracle I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep 
keep the faith Then when you can't go on My child, then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the You knew who I was I heard you crying down In Egypt's land You are my people I am your God A covenant you cannot comprehend I'm going to take you on a journey We're going to walk across the sea Now children, don't you worry Let me set your mind at ease You do what's possible You do the praise I'll do the miracle I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep the faith Then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the miracle We are His people he is our God He saved us from a wicked world of sin Amen So why do we worry When it all falls apart When the stormy times of life Come crashing in We have but one purpose and that's to trust with all our heart Then to stand back with wonder As we watch the waters part And he said You do what's possible You do the praise I'll do the miracle I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep the faith Then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the miracle You do what's possible you do the praise I'll do the miracle I'll make the way You put your trust in me You keep the faith Then when you can't go on My child then when you can't go on That's when I'll do the miracle Amen. I was listening 
on that part of the second time around. I, I was thinking, you know, sometimes we we get to worshiping and and we hear nothing. But I, as I listened to that that song, I I thought I I, I knew why that that Wanda made that trip around the, the church. She's looking for a miracle. Uh, she has a sickness in her family. Uh, 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 and, and she's got a need. And I, I thought, there's a lot of people that sit here in the service tonight. Uh, we need a miracle. Amen. But aren't you glad, thank God, that we serve the miracle provider that's still on the throne that knows how, thank God, to touch us. He knows how to heal us. He knows how, thank God, to give us victory. If we'll just put our trust in Him. Amen. Have your Bibles turned with me tonight, and I'm, I'm going to try to be as brief as I can. I, when, you, when you've got a scripture and, and you've got very little else, I, I tried to throw some notes down, uh, sitting down there in, in the study. You know, sometimes we, uh, uh, we get something from God and all we have it as a scripture, and the first thing that, that we do, we begin to worry about what we're going to say. But I, I thought of time after time when, uh, when the Lord ha has come and, and the blessings of God have, have, have been uh, are there upon us and, and at the end of it I say why in the world uh, did I ever uh, 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 Lord uh, 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 what's the word I want to use I, why did I ever uh, doubt you uh, doubt's a good word for it and, and God knows our, our heart tonight I've got a scripture I'm going to give you a scripture and then I'll give you what God gives to me and after that I'll sit down that's the one thing you can say I'm not going to say up here when, uh, when you think I'm a bag of wind, I'm going to say what I have to say and I'm going to get out of the way. In Zechariah, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse, and it being uh, uh, words that were spoken and have been spoken before, they were spoken to uh, Jerusalem and as uh, the angel spoke to him, and they were good for him. And I think that these words can be good for the people of God in 2019 if we'll take the word and, and we'll chew on it and, and let God show us uh, uh, what the, that we need to see from it. He'll give us something out of in the verse 6 there. I'm going to read just the words that, that are in my mind and in my heart. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Will you bow your heads with us for a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you tonight realizing, oh God, it is not. Within the power and the might that we have, it is nothing. But thank God when we look unto the Spirit of the living God, we can see, Heavenly Father, that you're able to do more than a min in a minute's time than we can do in a lifetime. So we ask you, Father, this evening to touch us, to bless us, to encourage us, Heavenly Father, as we try to encourage our people. Use us, our Heavenly Father, when you're through with us tonight. May we be able to stand aside. May God be able to get the glory. We give you glory, honor, and praise in the name of Jesus. And amen. God being our helper tonight, I want to try to preach to you uh, from, uh, from, from these words as they were spoken because I believe this. We're, we're living in a day, my friend, I thought that on the day of Pentecost when the, the power of, of God fell, he, he told them to tarry uh, in Jerusalem till you have, uh, have been endued with power from on high. And those people, they did exactly what God told them to do. And, and when all things were said and done, people were saved. Uh, and people were encouraged and blessed and things began to happen. And I thought tonight concerning the church of the living God, we still live in a day when there's people that need to be encouraged and, and, and souls need to be saved. And, and, and my friend, we need to have a fire to burn. I thought of those young ladies. I, I began to sing up there tonight, rekindle the fire in me, Lord. I, I, we still need a fire to be rekindled in our hearts uh, uh, that we as the people of God can still, uh, uh, my friend, worship Him.
him in spirit and in truth. I, I thought, my friend, tonight that you and I as the people of God, we cannot do it uh, uh, with our own power and uh, with our own might. I thought of uh, my friends concerning armies, uh, and they've been some, some, some mighty great armies, my friends, that came uh, against the children of God. But I thought in the midst of it that God uh, uh, in a moment of time struck them down as uh, that of so. Uh, if you re read there in the Old Testament a lot of places uh, uh, where the, 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 the children of God never even had to raise their finger. And I say to you, uh, uh, God doesn't need our help in bringing the power of God down uh, upon his people. What we need to do uh, as the people of God is to, uh, uh, my friend, do uh, what? we need to do. I thought, my friends, if you and I have the power of God within our lives, then there is work to be done. I, there's too many times. I, I remember an old a, a, a Sunday school teacher, he's probably been dead for as long as I've been at Kellogg. I, but I can remember his words. I, as he said, he said, Rog, he said, I'm going to tell you something. I, he said, men need to pray. I, and he said, the, the thing of it is I, that prayer is involves work and most people aren't willing to put forth the effort uh, uh, to see things accomplished. I tell you uh, what we as the children of God need to do uh, uh, we need to find us my friends that secret closet of prayer uh, and pray through clear and clear through uh, till the spirit of God don't come down there uh, uh, when we come to the house of God uh, uh, we'll be uh, uh, my friend under the influence of the Spirit. And my friends, if he tells you to go here and speak to this one, or my friend, go there, then you can do it. What we need, my friend, is the mighty power of God's Holy Spirit. And then I begin to think tonight that you and I, my friends, we need to be dedicated to the cause of Christ. Too many times people, they roll in on Sunday morning about the church time, and my friends, they haven't prayed. Uh, uh, they've done uh, nothing uh, uh, for the spiritual man and then they say uh, uh, well Lord bless me if you can it's not going to happen. If you don't put forth some effort uh, and it takes a dedication uh, to the cause of Christ uh, uh, to be able to say Lord uh, I, I, I've got things to do. I've got shows that come on my TV set on, on Saturday night that I'd like, like to watch but be able to put these things aside when you feel the Spirit of God begin to uh, uh, to come upon you, my friend, and there's some a feeling uh, uh, when God's Holy Spirit begins to deal with her heart. That uh, uh, takes us, my friend, to that place. Uh, uh, whether it's to pray uh, uh, for some, uh, somebody, and I'll tell you something tonight. Uh, I thought of the number of times uh, uh, that God has, has got us up in the wee hours of the night, uh, not knowing who or the why or the what. Uh, uh, but my friend, we get up and uh, found us place sunk down upon her knees. I, I can remember one time in particular, an old boy that was my neighbor, I, he went out I think about 3 o'clock in the morning had to go to work and, and, and as he, he uh, went through a red light and fell ahead him and tore his car all to pieces. I, and uh, that morning God had spoke to me and put him upon my mind and I prayed I, in the best way that I could not know him why, the who or the when. I, but after it happened I thought oh thank God I, I'm glad that I took time to pray. I, if we will be obedient I, I, to the Holy Spirit of God I, and let Him lead us and guide us and direct us, I, my friend, we'll see some things accomplished. I, my friend, in the church of the living God today, I, too many a times I, I, we want to go with our own, I, I, our own efforts, my friend, and we find ourselves all we can do and my friend is failed. But I'll tell you what, if we we'll wait upon the mighty power of God's Holy Spirit, my friend, I remember those disciples when he said, Terry, oh, I'll tell you what tonight, with the prayer, it, it takes more than just a minute. My friend, it takes more than just an hour. I lay me down to sleep. It takes more than a little prayer that the, the children pray. But God's people, they ought to pray. He said, the men ought always to pray and to not Faint. And I thought, my friends, the, the, the failure comes. When men and women, boys and girls, they fail. My friend, to pray and 
seek God's face and, and if my friend allow him, huh, my friend to direct their past, and they come in huh, how many of times and they do things that probably shouldn't be done. I'll tell you, it doesn't have to be huh, if we as the people of God have come to seek the Lord. Huh, my friend with all of our heart and soul and mind and our strength huh, and my friend put forth the effort huh, how to see things accomplished. Huh, we can see things accomplished for the glory of God in the house of God. He spoke to Jerusalem and he said, he said, it's not by, it's not by a might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit. I still believe tonight that the Holy Spirit of God is still my friend working in the church today. And the Holy Spirit can work through the people if the people of God will open up their hearts. And my friend, I will ask Come, Holy Spirit, oh God, now that I need you. I remember as a young Christian, I used to sing that song. And as I sung the song, I would say, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. I want to be filled and I want to be thrilled with the person of the Spirit of the living God. And I'll tell you something tonight. We need to see more of it in the house of God. Our churches, my friend, wouldn't be as dead as last year's birthday. And when we come into the house of God, we'd come in with a purpose, my friend. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord and be at all of our minds and all of our hearts and we'd come in the house of God. My friend, lady, I'll tell you what, if my friends, we come in with our beak open, my friend, like the little bird, as my friend, he hungered, and the mama bird would hate the other worm and lay it in its mouth. If we could be like that for the things of God, that Lord, fill me and thrill me. I'll tell you what, when we come to the house of God, we wouldn't stagger in, and my friend run out, but we'd come with my friend with all in our mind if we're going to make this hour that we spend together worthwhile in the blessings of God. I can remember being in service right here where you'd see somebody, the spirit would be flowing and you'd see somebody on that side of the church go to the other church and speak to someone and they'd make their way to the altar and they'd get saved and somebody else would make their way to somebody and they'd come and get saved. I, I tell you what, if we will mind the spirit of God, but I'll tell you something, don't you do it unless he tells you to because you can do more damage. You can do more damage than you can good. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercies. We thank you, Lord, for our privilege that we have of being in God's house with God's people. And we just ask you, Father, as we go from this place tonight, go with us. May Heavenly Father, we begin to think upon this scripture. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it's by your spirit. Fill us, Lord. Thrill us 
And Lord God, may we be a blessing as we come back to the house of God on some soul that's in need. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. And amen. Shake hands.